And there's a way to make the, the targeting box bigger and smaller as well, isn't there? Okay, I'm back. Uh, okay, what was it that you wanted me to uh, wanted to ask me? Oh, you need to adjust the size of the box sometimes as well, don't you? The like the targeting box. Yeah, the thing is, if you engage targets while hovering, the cannon recoil will move the helicopter away. Uh, you can fix that by setting the fire rate low. Also, be careful whenever you move in auto, auto hover because the sometimes the helos start sinking and to the ground, and if you are too busy looking at the squall, you might not notice. Well, that fucker moves around a lot. Uh, the thing is, if you set the uh, fire, shoot, uh, the shoot. rate of fire to low, you will be able to uh, engage more accurately. No whisper target found. Yeah, I think about it on low setting. Yeah, I do too. No whisper okay. target found. Okay, uh, how do we use the missile system? The Vicar, isn't it? Yeah, the Vicar basically works by... Uh, you see the target, you designate it, uh, and, and you fire the missile, and the, fire, uh, the missile follows the laser. Oh yeah, it's the bracket keys to increase the square. Yeah, you. It's better if you decrease the the uh, the box around the target as much as possible. Basically, how the Basically system works, the system. you don't have to lace the target beforehand. If you fire a vicar, the missile will uh, the uh, the KA fifty will automatically lace the target and guide it. It's, uh, but the problem is, if you don't have the laser on, uh, you won't be able to auto lock on a target. Uh, on the bright side, you don't risk having the laser burn out. Okay, how do I uh, switch to missiles? Uh, to switch to missiles, you need to select the uh, corrective pylon. In theory, the Vicar is always on the external pylon, so you just press the Y key. Oh, okay. and, also oh and also press the C, C key again to deactivate the cannon. Yeah, I can't seem to deactivate the cannon. The C is always there on my targeting screen. No, no the C on the targeting screen means you can shoot. Okay, I think I have a missile selected, so just hit the fire key. Uh, no, you have to press the uh, right uh, alt key and space, uh, and you need to keep them pressed for uh, one second to actually fire the missile. Huzzah! There you go. Now there's also some advanced things you can do, but Shoot. it's not really needed Shoot. for now. Basically the laser on the K-52 can also be utilized to uh, remotely designate targets for uh, airplanes and other helos. Shoot! Mm, okay, I can't get Shoot. a... Second vicar to fire. Uh, 
Uh, hang on, I'm gonna try firing one. Okay, it's say uh, I did something wrong. Hang on. Ah, oh, there we go. I wasn't fully turned toward the target. Oh, much better. Yeah, I forgot to activate the uh, laser. Silly me. Also, whenever you laser, you lock on a target or you fire the vehicle, a uh, countdown appears on the HUD. Uh, in theory, you should not uh, laser a target a second time uh, unless the countdown is finished, otherwise you risk burning your laser. <laughs> nice. Shoot. Shoot. So basically, if you laser target and you see a countdown going from 8 to 0, you need to wait until it reaches 0 before you fire the missile, otherwise you will uh, uh, damage the laser emitter. And if you damage it too much, uh, well, you can no longer laser targets and this, is, this will make your life incredibly Shoot. difficult. Shoot! 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 But rockets are not supposed to be used while uh, in a hover. You need they're yeah, usually, right usually used while you're in movement. Otherwise, they're incredibly inaccurate. Shoot! Shoot! Hang on, I have to fight the autopilot myself. One moment. Hell, running in. Initiating attack run. How do you set the rockets to uh, uh you press the uh, key. And what the hell was the autopilot off key again? I keep forgetting it. Alt T to turn it on, and it's left control T to kill it, isn't it? Yep. And the trim reset is right control Shoot. T. Shoot. The, yeah, to set uh, the trim, you press the T key to uh, activate autopilot. You hop over, you press the uh, left hold T key, and then to reset the trim, you press control T. Yeah, but I can't see the nose far at all. It's, it's like the autopilot's still on. Okay, uh, just uh, wait around the stick and hope you don't lose control. That's all I can say. Oh, oh shit.
Oh crap. Okay, I f for the first time my rotors uh, decided to collide between themselves. But I ejected safely, so that's okay. The jet does not like to work on my helicopter. <laughs> Shoot. Shoot. I'm gonna go for a cigarette. You're at bark. Yeah, um, I'll uh, stop playing these for a while for now. Okay, cool. Now you know how these, uh, now you know how it works, so it should be okay. Just need to get the hang of it and don't do anything stupid like I did uh, because I deck, I uh, gained too much speed for the helo. That's one hell of an unforgiving chopper. Yeah, but once you do it's an incredibly agile, heavily armed and heavily armored helo. Bah, give me an A-10 in here. Yeah. Alright, back in a minute. Shoot! 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 Minimum speed. Engage movers. Shoot. Shoot. Shoot! Shoot! <laughs> 